Hey everyone, welcome back for some more DayZ. So, yesterday I uploaded a video that showcased a number of new military locations including Staroy, Tizzy, and North Tents. And today I'm going to be showcasing a few more, uh, specifically in the Lapatino, I'm going to be calling it the Lapatino Checkpoint, and then also the Kaminka Checkpoint areas. Very cool military checkpoint camps that are added to the far western regions of the map and are definitely worth checking out. Also, something to, that is really important to note is the spawning locations for multiple survivors has been changed yet again. So the furthest spawn, to our knowledge, is Kamishovo at the moment, or Skalensky Island Kamishovo. That is the furthest southern and eastern spawn that you can possibly get. So no more Letro, Cherno, Prigorodki, uh, Kamaravo, Belota spawns. So we've experienced this before, and typically what happens is a very big shift in player hotspots and player movements. So you're not going to be meeting people on Natazdino to Rogovo Road anymore. You're not going to be seeing as many people in Pogorevka or Zelenogorsk or Kozlovka anymore. Uh, not even in, in the Green Mountain area. Those places are definitely not going to have people. Uh, neither will you find that many people in Boar. Obviously, there is a chance that you will find one or two survivors that are roaming around, but not the frequency of survivors that you'd expect today. Um, Berezino to Gorka to Novi Stari will be very popular. Uh, Krasnostav, Northeast Airfield, Svetlajorsk, Novo, um, Severograd, Severgino, Ratno, uh, those are going to be a very popular area for survivors. Even Svetlajorsk for a spawning location, so just keep that in mind. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. Let's show you guys some of the new locations. Uh, well, the two military checkpoints that have been added into the game. Look at all the hiking jackets are great for military loot, by the way, guys. I'm not going to spend too much time looting uh, all these vehicles, but I'm sure if you did, you would find a decent amount of supplies. What's this say? What the fuck? You know what they need to add? They need to add a bigger gas station model. I feel like that's too small for a gas station, especially like this. They need to add like a big stop. Like a, like a convenience store. Figured like that would work really well here. Okay, SKS. I do have a PU scope and ammo for that SKS. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I want to take it or not. We have 40 rounds for this thing. But I don't really want to I don't really want to double carry. I'm not in the mood to double carry. I don't know, it would be nice as a backup though, but yeah, I, I don't want to over overburden myself. Like if I want to be able to easily quickly kill zombies with a baseball bat. So anyway, this was really sweet. I don't know if there's anything else down the way. Is there this is people said that there's five tenths, so there's one, two, three. I think I miss a ten, right? I miss this one. These two down here. Or did I? Or... Yeah, I did miss these. So a very cool checkpoint that I think is going to be important whenever survivors get more vehicles on their hands. Both of the Kaminka and Lapatino checkpoint zones I feel are going to be uh, specifically for squads that do have a high rate of mobility. It will be difficult to be constantly going out to these very uh, remote locations on foot. Yeah, this is this has been a very big patch for sure. Fuck. Okay. 
I feel like I'm just gonna leave the SKS inside of the camo, the ghillie camo thing, the ghillie bunker. Come back for it after. I should just move quickly. Ay, ay, ay. This is, uh, this is pretty tough. But I think there's, I think most of the zombies are pulled out of the base. So I should be okay. But most of the loot looks like it's, it's gone. So I think someone's already probably been here. Now, Mishkino has been reduced significantly, and I feel like has received the biggest hit. North Tents is still a very valuable spot, so people are definitely going to be still continuing to go there. However, Mishkino is really close to the new Lapatino checkpoint, so I feel like from Mishkino Tents all the way up to Lapatino checkpoint will potentially be a hot spot. However, with all of the new spawns being on the eastern coast, Mishkino is one of the furthest uh, military bases that you can go to. Uh, Kaminka, in fact, is even one of the furthest military bases that you can get to. Tizzy is not no longer the the, the longest uh, military base away from player spawn locations. So I don't know how the PvP is going to be affected yet in Mishkino, but I can only guess it's going to be vastly reduced. Okay, looks like we got a ghillie bunker. This is, I, I like the increased amount of ghillie bunkers. Like I do like the layout of these camps. Um, very thought out. Like positionings of all of the tents and stuff. I love the interiors of the tents too. The interiors are cool. Just kind of gives these tents a little bit more life. Black jungle boots. tri-colored bandana you know I'm gonna take that I don't have a I'm lone wolfing it so it doesn't matter if I get dinked in the head no one's gonna really come and save me Five forty-five. TTSKO, TTSKO, three round MP5 mag, there's some military boots right there. Um, okay, well this is a cool little little thing. Like I said, um, I think this base is going to kind of make a lot more sense when, once people have vehicles. Until then, it's, uh, unless you're really desperate for supplies, I, uh, I don't imagine ever coming back here for a long, long time. Very cool base, though. I will say, very awesome. Um, the amount, almost the the amount of residential loot almost trumps the importance of the uh, the military loot. I'm sure you could probably, if you searched really hard, you could probably find some 308. I mean, maybe we should try to give these vehicles a search.
Now, lastly, I'm gonna be showcasing some PVP content. I actually ran into a couple survivors down near Kaminka and Kamaravo, and I was surprised about that because I wasn't expecting so many people to be down this way just yet, but it was, it was really just two lone survivors, one of which was exploring the new military locations in the checkpoint. Um, but it's also important to note as well, I think I just, I just remembered to say this, these two checkpoint locations are amazing for vehicles. Uh, the vehicle loot here is absolutely nuts. So if you want lower caliber rounds like 22 or possibly even finding some 308 or some 7.60 by 54 or 357, these checkpoints are crazy. As you can see, the amount of cars is just, um, it's almost more valuable than the military bases themselves. Anyways, guys, I'll end off with some PvP content. Let me know what you guys think of the new camps in the comment section below. And if you guys haven't seen Steroy, Tizzy, or North Tents, be sure to check out yesterday's video. I'll try to leave an annotation on the screen. I know I don't do that very often, but go check it out. It's definitely worth it because it's going to be changing the flow of gameplay and player positions and hotspots quite a bit. Okay, well, we actually hear some gunshots. Hell yeah. That's coming from Kaminka Town itself. Your player in front of me right now. Wow, that guy took a lot of 5.56. Five, five, he probably has a friend. Weird. That was not where the gunshots were coming from. Or this guy. Mosey. Really curious here what's going on. I see him, I see him. And I'm with it. Jesus, that did not go as planned. Well, kind of did, but not as well as I wanted it to. What? Yep, you guessed it. You can still hide your own body after you die in DayZ. I really want that bug to be fixed because this guy just did me dirty. Uh, he just uh, probably had a lot of good supplies on him because he most likely rolled through Belota, Cherno, uh, Kamaravo, and all those villages working his way to the new checkpoint and most likely had some high quality ammunition on him. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And be sure to check out my daily live streams every single morning at 8.30am Eastern Standard Time. A link to that is in the description box below.